Now let's control who can work in the project. We'll click Project Settings and then go to this Access page. Max has the role of administrator as he created the project and as the project has open access, you see that all registered users of the site have the role of member. You don't need to specifically add members to this project. You also don't need to add viewers as all users already have the role of member. Max's team decide that only users of Jira software should be able to create and edit issues in their project. So let's click Change Project Access and we'll select Limited. We'll click Change and then Save and Make Limited. Now all registered users of the site have the role of viewer. To add users who can add and edit issues, we need to add the users or group and assign them the role of member. Let's click Add People. We'll start typing Jira and select Jira Software Users. We've got the role of member selected, so we'll click Add. Now only users in the Jira Software Users group can create and edit issues in the project. A user who's not in the Jira Software Users group can only search for and view issues in this project. If we click Add People again, Note that as well as users and groups, you can enter an email address. If the site administrator set existing users can send invitations to anyone on the Site Access Site Administration page, then the project administrator can invite users to join the site and access the project. Even if this setting is off, the project administrator can invite users from approved domains. Let's cancel out.